Welcome everyone. Uh, I'm here with Wynn Morgan. For those of you that don't know, my name is Everett Hendrickson with BVT, B Vectoring Technology. Wynn Morgan is co-owner of uh, Major League Blueberries, uh, organic blueberry farm here in Douglas, Georgia. He's been a BVT customer for some time. He's a third generation blueberry grower. He's grown all over the world on five continents. And we're fortunate enough to have a part of his time today to tell us about his experience with our product and our system and our company. Wynn, thank you very much for giving us your time today. Glad you're here. So I want to just start out, Wynn, tell me more about your farm, the history of it briefly, and your history with BVT. So I have two wonderful partners on this farm. I have Malcolm McCoy and I have Jeff Rancor. Um, and we started this farm in 2016, uh, really the end of 15. We started planting blueberries in 16. So it's something that I've done, it's something I'm proud of, and something we uh, we started here near my hometown. It's a, it's turned out to be a pretty pretty operation, so I'm, I'm appreciative of it. Fair enough. And how did you come to use BBT and when? It's our job as farmers to distinguish ourselves and be different, um, to do something bigger, better, or more efficient than the next guy. And so it's a, it's a competition out here. And so ultimately what we do uh, as farmers is we look for ways to get ahead. We look for innovations to make our farm stronger and more efficient. And so we reached out to you guys, I think in 2017, uh, we began uh, our trial process with you guys in 2018. But there's, there's technologies that we've used that are good and there's technologies that completely change the way you farm. And this technology using bees as a vector to, to create a positive outcome, not just for pollination, but for the health of the plant and the health of the, the fruit. It's, it changed the way we farm here. And so that's how we started and, and everything we have on this farm today is covered under BBT. Gotcha, thank you very much. Now, yeah. in 2018, you said is when you started using this. Yes. And when did you, where, when, how, how did that look? So my partner, Malcolm McCoy, he has a farming operation near Macon, Georgia little town called Culloden. He's got three or four acres up there. We put the first initial bee vectoring uh, technology bees. We put DBT bees on that operation and then the next year we brought them to, to this operation. So great success there and we brought it here. So. Gotcha. And so when we started here we were looking at I think 40 acres and then we right. went to the whole farm the year after that and right. this year we're again at the whole farm. That's right. Are you, is your farm expanding? Yes we continue to grow and we're going to continue to to use you guys to help us pollinate. And as I recall, when we first started, the farm we're on right now mm -hmm. was a conventional farm, is that right? It was, so we went through the processes that it takes to get us to where now we're 100% we're organic here as an operation. That's quite an accomplishment, so uh, you know, kudos for that. My Appreciate question it. to you regarding that is BVT. How do you see bee vectoring, uh, CR7, how do you see that Correct. as part of the equation to you becoming an organic farm? So, just so everyone that's listening today is clear, I, I went and sat under the man. So I, I went and sat under Dr. John for a while and I learned uh, from him in Toronto. I sat down underneath him and I, I listened and I looked at things under uh, a microscope and looked in the biology of things. And Clonostachis really does uh, change the game for us on this farm. Um, we use CR7, uh, Clonostachis, we use it to combat anthracnose. Uh, we use it to combat what I believe could be a, a fruit drop problem that we're having. We just don't see fruit drop on this farm like other farms uh, that aren't using BVT. We don't, we don't see it here like they see it at other operations. And so we believe that we're, we're ultimately pollinating, but then pollinating with, with great health of the plants and great health of the, the fruit. Okay. Now tell me, and we have a bee coming around us right now, just to yeah, give right. us a little bit of love while we're talking about it. That's right. Her, I should say. Um, we haven't even delivered yet. See how great we are at the customer you service are, side you, of this? That one flew down with you. <laughs> he, came, he came with me from Florida. Yeah. So my question uh, next would be, um, we talked about the conversion to organic and, yes. and how we help that. Yeah. Um, and we know that we're as, as successful in conventional programs yeah. as we are in organic. Yes. But given that that's helped you out, Let's talk about ROI because yeah. now we're in a different price bracket with right. your with your organic yeah. and your yield. So tell me about the return on investment from where you buy BVT, the yeah. expense that's involved in that, even right. with the labor, which we'll talk about in a minute, yeah. and what you see on the backside for your business. So anytime you use bees on an operation, you're going to have ROI, right? right. Uh, of course, that's why you use them. You, you have to pollinate blueberries. and so. 
With our, with our testing and what we've done and we've looked at our controls, we believe that it's an 18 to 22x return on what we've invested with you guys. That's pretty impressive. It's extremely impressive. So now let's talk about that labor function because mm -hmm. you've put that into the mix. I know right. you ran the metrics and yeah. the numbers before we started chatting. Yeah, yeah. You know the labor that's involved with servicing right. our system on your side for right. your farm labor. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so you, you ultimately on each operation, you'll have a guy uh, that goes around and he'll change and flip out trays. I use bumblebees here on this operation. So the way that the, the structure of the box, it's really easy to flip open the lid to put the new tray in there. So you might spend seven, eight hours a week going in and changing out trays. Okay, very Pretty good. Pretty simple. Very good. And that's built in to those numbers you talked about before, that 20x return. That's correct. And the 20x return is something that you really need to dive into and look at because ultimately, if you have a, a normal rate of 50% pollination success, mm -hmm. uh, we're having more like 65, 68% on most of our varieties here. And it's throwing out a bigger crop. Gotcha. It's, it's entirely impressive. So when, just so we're clear with our audience yeah. and, and we cover this bridge, Tell me about how this fits into your IPM system. So what we believe here is that Clonus stachys is the game changer in that it protects us against a lot of diseases that we could potentially have during the most crucial time of our year, which is during uh, fruit set and harvest. So we believe that um, it, it keeps us almost safe, really, uh, until early May uh, before we could have issues. Um, it's, it's, it's really phenomenal technology and then I'm glad you're here because I'm happy to share this information with other growers because ultimately um, we're all in this together and they, they, they can benefit from using BBT for sure. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now as we wrap up this conversation, yeah. I, I want to know about the future of MLB yeah. and how BBT relates to that. We're, we're growing. We're going to grow as a farm. We're going to grow as an operation. Allowing the market gives us some leniency on on price, we're gonna we're gonna move forward. We're gonna we're gonna continue to go. Um, what we are gonna do is we're gonna drag you guys with us, and we're gonna drag uh, other great technologies with us, and we're gonna we're gonna bring you into our new operations, and we're gonna give you a platform to to do business with us for a long time. So, very good. Man. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. I appreciate Absolutely. it. I appreciate being on a farm and working with someone yeah. that's uh, really looking to. Um, I mean, year after year, yeah. you're looking for the benefit out of your farm. You're looking for how to grow the business. Absolutely. And that's a, that's a phenomenal experience to be a part of. Growing's hard. It is. It's a tough deal. It's not for mm -hmm. the lighthearted. Uh, but all that said, it's, it's really nice to be part of someone moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, almost every day and week. Yeah. So thank you very much for your time. Very good. Thank you. And folks, thank you for joining us.